the matter we carry me come out this morning and because here they discuss why APC must and will produce the next governor of Edo State. Edo must be in safe hands. I go really want to talk um, from the part of history. I the support no other person than Pastor Osaige is a Yamu. No see I'm the platform we say PY way I know. I know good they support why I know no. I know good they support one person because he's an anointed candidate of government of the day. I know they support one person because he, I know see he get capacity uh, to feed uh, bring out money to train one become governor. I cannot do that. I must support somebody who understands the political, socio-economic, and socio-cultural way of life of our people. I cannot support somebody who they just came and say, oh, come and be governor. No. We have seen what that has cost us for eight years. Now to the issues of discourse. I want to use this money to warn all those people will be say, when I go see person they talk with him, no say they right. When I go to chat, say, oh, jealousy, you know, see you, you are looking older than your age. Oh, you know, see you, you are not from Benin, go to Agbo. Hey, you know, see you, they go want the form beef, where beef no day. Sometimes they go your gang up, say, I want a day life, they will come to put red head, put red neck, put yellow leg, put all the three go say, I don't get the required audience, we, some of us, they expect. This very morning, as I don't talk, and the matter will carry me come out to come talk to our Edo people. Now, issues we bother on why APC must produce the next governor of Edo states. I believe some of them are for this country when somebody like Gosfield like Babio will be PDP man, they call him the uncommon transformer of Akwai Bomb State. Today, people go to Akwai Bomb State, they want to talk about where government don't feel established basic infrastructure for the people where government don't feel show leadership capacity you go mention a quiet bomb you go mention river states you go see try say you want to look at you go mention a boy state i be a state now the governor where they just they wake up it's not it don't they come to real, the realities on ground to make sure say man there are some basic amenities my people must need to strive and make life meaningful for themselves as of today i did very happy with the way some people they come and they say oh Four plus four bar, or a bar, or banner. At the end of the day, they forget. Say, you cannot talk about your future without looking back at your past. To shaping a balanced future, you must always look back at your past. And for some of us, I have asked myself, of what benefit it is if I choose to support another candidate? Than Pastor Saige Zeyamu. I decided to understand that I will be blaming myself because the person I'm going to support, I don't know the person. The person I'm supporting is somebody that we, when he's a governor, I can have access to him, I can lay complaints on the table, I can draw his attention to issues that have affected those states. I want to cite a critical example for those of you who have followed my trend over time. You will agree with me that one of those key areas that borders on infrastructure that I spoke about is the issue of street lights for a do state. My happiness this January is that a lot of diasporas are in town. Some of you are here for one function of a friend or your father's function or your mother's function or your grandparents burial or something but you are in town for an event or in town for the holiday. Is there any significant difference you can spotlight in Benin City under the Governor Gordon led or Baseki's administration? If it's the street lights that was lit up on Sapler Road where they were shouting up, Barry, where is it now? How is it functioning? Why is it epileptic? Why is it not meeting the aims and needs of Edo people? When that street light was done, some of us came out to say that even if we don't agree with the governor coming to change those old ones, to put in new ones where there are some areas where they don't have, I also share the opinion that 
this life should be made to work effectively. On that aspect, I believe most of you are in town, you can either agree or not to agree to see that those street lights are really not meeting what they ought to do. For some of us who live up in Boba Slope, I really cannot tell why that very risky area at night cannot be lighted up. Cannot be lighted up just by the fact that the Osimo line has been drawn to that extent. I really don't understand why we cannot get that stretch to Rama Park that the governor has done littered up. A shift from that. I want to also let other people know, particularly those of you who supported the Togba and Togberian movement. I do not have anything against any one of you. I do not also see it that uh, 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 we have something different from talking about the issues of governance. But you agree with me. When you've, your leadership that you have promoted falls short of expectation, it is your duty as a supporter to criticize. It is your duty as a supporter to also draw the attention of government to the plight and areas where they have not met the demands of the do people. If you look at those persons who supported Obaseki, a vast majority of them are not even keen behind the candidate Obaseki is bringing. <laughs> That's to tell you that there's a problem. They are either supporting one person or the other person or they are not seeing anything for now. And for me, I have this belief that a do can always be better when we keep sentiments aside and discuss on the real issues. Pastor Saigeziamo's manifesto has not changed since 2016 when he came out with this simple agenda. Agreed, he won that election, but a lot of forces within our political atmosphere worked against that interest of his. We saw how returning officers were reading results on laptop as if the results were written inside laptop. We saw a lot of irregularities in that elections. But I believe the court has taken their position and that is all history as we are discussing it today. In 2012, 2020, you also saw our comrade leader, Adam Ali Oshomole, who is one of the foremost performer of good governance in the Edo State since 1999 to date. You saw him come out to say that it was the internal forces within the APC that worked against the APC that made us to lose that election. However, I want to let Edo people know that going to bring people who don't live in Edo State, who don't work in Edo State, who only come into the state as consultants, it will not help the development of the state. I had expected the incumbent government of the day to sponsor a candidate that lives in Edo within the party, that politics in Edo within the party, that also a candidate that knows Edo people within the party that is for them well however if they choose to bring somebody that they feel is more better than whoever you know has been there i don't have an issue with it it is their interest politics is all about interest so they can keep it but i want to draw the attention of those people towards apostle uh what's it called cassie what he said on one of his videos i i came across on the social media he did make a very, 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 very vital point. And I believe most Edo might not understand. And I want to break it down for them. Edo State generates nothing less than 50 billion naira a year as internally generated revenue. 
we get FAC allocations at about that amount. So we're those states in a year or but they're about goes up to nothing less than 80, 90 to 110 billion naira every year. If you put that on a scale within the last eight years or seven years, as the case may be, you will agree with me that a dossier has gotten nothing less than over 500 billion naira appropriated by this government. Can we be boastful enough to say that we can compare that resources we have gotten from Edo State to that which a Boeing State has gotten and compare the level of infrastructure, human capital development, and social political development that has taken place in a Boeing as a state. A Boeing does not have the same GDP or the same IGRO as Edo State. Edo State is about the seventh or eight to ninth richest states you have in Nigeria. Ebo is about the 15 or 16 or 17. They don't fall within the first 10 in Nigeria. So if people who are non Edo's who have resided here, who do their business here as Nigerians and as you know citizens of Edo State, are saying that they have seen better states where resources have been managed than the people that they came out to campaign for. I don't see a reason why we that are those are still wallowing in this hula balo imagination of government is good. I have cited this severally in most of my brokers. I do not hate Governor Gordon Nogegase Obaseke. I don't dislike him. But what I dislike is the policies he operates. Is the policies that he operates. So, if we must talk about advancing the cause of Edo State, as I speak to you today, Edo State does not have good security vehicles for security men. 90% of the police stations in Edo State are providing security vehicles for themselves with monies they collect as bail or they get from citizens who have interest in security you know, to make sure that their businesses are protected and all that. That is what they used to do, uh, 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 police security. The governor launched a security trust fund for a do state. We should not forget, how come that trust fund is not maintaining and providing security vehicles for a do people? Where is that security trust fund policy of the government? Where they say they were going to pull pri in private sector, uh, participant and uh, the state government to actually budget a particular amount of money for a do state security. As I speak to you, 85% of the security jobs done in a do state are done by volunteers. Are done by volunteers. So, what has happened to the security trust fund? I'm very happy that one of our illustrious son, who is the former IGP, who also understands what the business of security is all about was the one who came to command uh, commission the command and control unit of uh, the Edo state government for our security agencies what are the duties of the command and control unit what is it doing to advance the security of Edo state are we seeing it effective to date you still see uh, uh, small staff holding a uh, manual cctv <laughs> for those of you who have been saying it all out you know, you see some of them saying that the governor has done a Kenwa road to this Ebutu will stop. So the next government will continue from there to another stop. And some people are saying, no, it doesn't have the resources to complete this project. They must complete it. It is not coming from me. I'm not the author. I'm only just quoting issues down the media. So, this is why I say we need somebody who is at home base. And if you look at all the aspirants that have come out from the APC. You have not seen somebody who live outside the door, apart from a few of them. Those APC candidates are all home-based politicians. You might not like them, you might hate the APC at the national level, but I tell Nigerians and I tell Edo people who care to listen that the APC under Buhari was 
nothing to write home about. I've always said it times without number. And most people tell me, don't criticize. Why don't you? Why are you not criticizing the Buari led government? Are you not supporting APC? I did not support the Buari government, but I supported. I supported Pastor Sageze Yamu under the APC. I supported Bola Ahmed Tinibu in the APC. Because I know he has something to offer, despite the fact that age might not be on his side, but I know he has something to offer. For you to govern Nigeria, you must have a political clout. You must have some clout to stand up tall and talk to the, the, the cabals. You must be somebody who, has, who can stand up to and say, cabal, no, we are not going to do this. This is how we are going to go about it. And that is the way to go. That is the way to go. So, my do people, I believe all of them are the CWT they have you know. Some people are now shouting, oh, brain boss, brain boss, brain boss, brain boss, brain boss. What businesses does brain boss do in a do state that creates job for a do people? What investment have they brought in for a do people? What have they been able to give Edo people that Edo people is currently enjoying as a government they have doubled as head of economic team for the past eight years? We all know that the candidate to beat is the candidate of the PDP because they are the ruling party in the state. But I must say this without any form of fear or favor that there are certain things we must get right as a people if we want a do to move forward most of you know that over time i have not agreed with some set of politicians we have in the state but in recent times they have shifted their political base because they also share the same school of thought with me that political party is just the vehicle the person that matters most is the candidate in government is a candidate in government. We were in this same state when people were saying, tell me the name of the contractor you are using in a do. Let me mention the name of the contractor I'm using in a do. Nobody saw anything, but all the Togberians, they are no longer shouting Togba again. They are no longer saying anything. They've supported the government that they have even lost hope, you know. But they want some of us to continue keeping quiet when we are in a democratic state where we talk about politicking as a tool to ascend a leadership uh, position in our society. The question to ask, they should be campaigning with projects just the way you see Wike do, just the way you see David Umayi do during their campaigns. Once campaigns start, they should be telling you, we have commissioned this project. I thought at some point in time, where some of us went to the Benin City Mall to carry out protests, some persons came out to say that, oh, Manolai Bogwa has been paid. And I argued, what is the interest, what is the investment of Edo in the Edo Mall or Benin City Mall, as the case may be, as it has, as it has been called? People criticize me, they say I'm an enemy of Obaseki. That they don't know why Obaseki has not sent me to jail. How can Obaseki send me to jail when, as a citizen, I'm trying to ask a very fundamental question? And people who will support a political process that also won't understand what the process is all about and how it functions, they will be saying that the government should carry me to jail. I want to cite this critical example. Edo people, particularly our diasporans, have campaigned vigorously for Shogori. They have campaigned vigorously for Peter Obi. And the followers of Peter Obi and his party are in power in, sorry, are in power in the Senate in Edo South. They have two seats in the Edo State House of Assembly. Why are their voices not being heard? 
they are in the parliament where they represent the interests of the masses of Edo State, particularly in Edo South, the Obidem movement, we are able to clinch the seat of the Senate, they were able to clinch House of Rep seats, they were able to clinch House of Assembly seats. So why are they issues? Why are they not coming out to say what is actually happening in Edo State? Why are all this? Uh, why, are all the, uh, why are all of them silent? So the era where somebody will come to hide under or propagate or hide under the leadership of one good politician in quotes, that era is gone. In 2016, everybody knows that Obaseki ascended into power because he hid under the leadership qualities and powers of Adams and Leo Shumule as governor of Edo State. Despite the fact that they came all out, Pastor Sake Zayamu won that election. In 2016, the APC had to go and hustle for Pastor, believing that he would uh, do the magic he performed in 2016. What now happened? The internal forces of the APC, because they had their personal interests, they worked against Pastor Sage Zayamu, Adam Sali Oshomole just confirmed it a few days ago. And I'm asking, those of you who say, we will not vote for PDP, we will not vote for APC, we want a fresh party. The Labour Party that they just concluded the elections, now what are their House of Rep members doing? What are their House of Assembly members doing? What are their Senate members doing? That is different from what secular politicians do. If Emmanuel Laibogu is talking, they will say, oh, he's very biased. Oh, he's, uh, he's one-sided. Oh, he doesn't want to say it the way it is. Oh, he has, been, he has given money. Oh, he's fighting for his stomach. What I'm saying now, is it for my stomach's sake? Edo people must understand that it is time for us to change the narrative. Let me tell you something that Nigeria must understand. After the emergence of Adam Sali Oshomole in 2008, the Nigerian dynamics of politicking changed. Everybody knew that Oshomole was performing in those states. Everybody wanted to replicate what Oshomole was doing in their states. And that made Oshomole won the 192 words of Edo State and the 18 local governments, 18 over 18, against General Charles of the PDP, despite the fact that he was in an ACM party, which was an opposition in the country. Today, where are those developments? I have argued. Mm -hmm. Let somebody come out and show me one quality road in Edo State. One quality road that can be compared to what David Umayi did for his people in Ebony State. You must think within the box to work with resources that are available. You cannot go to the moon and get resources. You must work within the means of what is available on the table. And I tell you, within the past seven years, Edo State has gotten more than 500 billion era. More than 500 billion era. Where are those resources? Where are the investments? When I argue, they said no. Somebody like Apostle uh, 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 Alfred Uyinosa, my good friend, he will come out to say that is a private public partnership investment. MOU is working. You heard what the deputy governor said that Edo invested 6 billion naira in Edo Mall. Before investing that 6 billion naira, we had an, a library that was built with that same amount under the local administ uh, administration that was demolished to the ground. Of what importance is that investment? Of what importance? Assuming, assuming they wanted to put a narrative to Edo people that Adam Sali Oshomole supported the emergence of ShopRite on Sapler Road by Dumais Junction that never saw the light of day, their governor is willing to do one with Edo 6 billion naira. But their governor is not showing us an airport road that was started and completed. They are not showing us a, a sea local road that was started and completed. 
They are not showing us a second circular road that was started and completed. They are not showing us a, 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 a new Lagos road that was started and completed. They are not showing us Red Roofs Revolution. They are not showing us a do specialist hospital. Even if they decide to put it in private hands. So my two people, we must understand where we are as a people before taking the next decision on who we support. And to my Asian brothers, my Asian brothers who I see some of them saying, oh, it's an agenda. It is very good for power to have a spread. But I want to tell them that they have gone about it the wrong way. In whatever politicking that you politic and you choose to put ethnicity first, it, you will never get it right. And after my man had become governor, he enjoyed the support of the entire state. We never heard a my agenda. If Bini man was governor in 1999, we never heard Bini agenda. If Bini man is governor now, we never heard Bini agenda. And Osumbo became governor with the aid of federal might. We never had a sun agenda. So what is all of this thing about a sun agenda? If power must go to Edo Central, is it only a sun that is in Edo Central? Or are they the only ones that are marginalized in Edo State? There are some people since the advent of 1999 to date, some tribes in Edo State that have not gotten commissioner appointments in this state. As low as commissioner. Some have gotten SSG, some have gotten head of service, some have gotten chief of staff, some have gotten... Chief Judge and the rest, some tribe, have, some ethnic nationalities or tribe in Edo State have not got even commissioner. That will be a discussion for another day. But I'm just introducing it to Edo people so that most of you get to know what we are actually facing in the state. At this point in time, if there's anybody who will balance that narrative, I think if there's anybody who understands the political demography of Edo State, who can come out to express this say it, it is Pastor Saige Zeyamu. I stand to be corrected. I stand to be challenged on any platform, whether national, local, social media, radio, print, media, as the case may be. Let us not jettison the actualities or the the normalities and abnormalities of what is politics in our state. If we want to begin to think that that was how Europe was developed, then we are getting it wrong. There was never a time within Europe that they went to look for somebody who is in abroad or who is in one country or who is in one state to come and be a governor in another state. They look for people who live in that area, who do business there. For crying out loud, Pastor Sage Ziamo's wife is a lecturer in Uniben. She's a senior professor. She has practiced all her life here in Benin. She has practiced all her life here in Benin. Pastor Sage Ziamu is a if I is the, is the head of redeemed pastors in a do state. He started his pastoral work alongside his politics work and his business work in the, in Edo State. He has grown over time and he still lives in Edo State. He has all the resources to have a choice house in Abuja or somewhere in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in whatever part of the state that he choose to. But he has declined all of those approaches because he has the interest of Edo at heart. Let me quickly say, for those of you who do not know, that for over decades, for over centuries, the Benin traditional system has always operated as a monarchy system. But you saw what transpired. Even if they want the resources to be devoted or dissolved into traditional 
stools that were established by the Oba of Benin, they would have gone about it in a manner that we show respect. That is where the common understanding of who understands the traditional institution more comes in. I can go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Edo must understand the narrative. I will be discussing thrice a week to refresh our minds so that we are going to the primaries by next month. So that all of these factors would get down to even the political actors so that they can know the decisions they take. But I strongly tell you that Edo will see a campaign and a government that will discuss our problem. That will discuss our problem. Not coming to bring ideas that don't that cannot solve our problems. And while we are doing that, particularly on my platform, please, I have tried not to have personal matter with anybody on social media. A lot of people are saying a lot of things, insulting, even the person that I'm supporting. At, at my mental status, I cannot see myself arguing with you on the basis of insults. That, that, that does not in any way translate to the subject and the issue of discourse as important as, as who governs us in the do state. It does not translate to it. So if you're on my platform, please say what is your opinion. Don't insult anybody. If you start doing that on my platform, I'll be telling my admins to be blocking such a person. You are not helping the discourse. If they have taken my video from here to whatever platform, you know, on YouTube or Facebook or TikTok to, 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 to present it to other viewers, please, you can go there and insult wherever you want to insult. But on my Facebook live broadcast, don't insult anybody. Make your opinions very broad. Because I've seen a lot of comments here from people. I don't want to mention names. But I think those people who are following the comment section can see for themselves. Don't come to my platform and insult anybody, please. I have been insulted more. I, I hardly insult people. If there's anybody that tolerates insults or abuses in his platform, I'm one of them. Because I allow people to express themselves. But if I choose to express myself, they insult me. But I let them express myself on their platform. But other people that they support, once they see people that are countering their opinions, they block them off. Mm -hmm. I don't do that, but I think I will now introduce that because those are part of the reasons why uh, uh, people or my traffic is not going the way it ought to go. I want us to be discussing Edo issues. I want us to discuss Edo issues and not discuss issues that does not concern us or insults, or saga. If you look at those brains that gather to say they are bringing the governor Obaseki government, and those of them who are still talking about the government today, go and look at most of their platform. How many of them are discussing the talk by again? Or the 4 plus 4? How many of them are discussing the talk by again or the 4 plus 4? So please, I want to beg, and I will continue begging. I, I, I don't, I don't want a situation whereby we will now start fighting ourselves over things that are not relevant. Over things that are not relevant. If I'm discussing Dionosai Gina and uh, Batobaze, you will see 500 views. If I'm discussing El Amigo and, uh, and the Abat, you will see 1,000 views. If I'm discussing about those things that affect us as a people, you never see people who listen to saga, you never see them uh, 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 listen to it. So how do we not get it right then? For those of you who say that you are obedient, I want to leave you with this message. I want to leave you with this message. I am not in any way fighting 
anybody. I don't want to have enemies. I don't want to have enemies. Enemies in the sense that because of what I say, I'm entitled to what I have to say. It is my right to freedom of expression. It is your right to express yourself. But don't come and say because I'm telling you what I feel is best. You are insulting me. It's not nice. I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do that to you. I, I, I don't have envious spirit. I'm not a rich man, no, but I'm not also a poor man. I do things based on issues and ideas known to me. You can hardly see him and like Bogun say what he does not know. If I don't know, I stay clear of it. But those ones that I know that is clear to me, I come out and say it the way it is. Let Edo people understand. I am not the perfect human being. But I will always say those things that I know that will advance the cause of this state. Without fear or favor. You have never seen me one day say I the command they do saga. The only person I try to correct, which is what I'll continue saying. People saw that I was envious, and I decided to say no. I don't marry myself with envious uh, discussion. I decided to back out. So my dear people, if you believe that you want our Edo state to get a fair share of the informations I will be spilling out, I've said it. I don't need insults. I don't need insults. I don't need anything saga. If you say something that I feel uh, those people should reflect on, I will also say it on my platform because I observe the media. And I've also told our Edo people, let us not winch on ourselves. There's nobody that is not on social media that does not have an interest in one thing or the other. So if anybody's interest is working out for him, don't be envious of him. Oh. But let that interest be a true reflection of what will advance the cause of Edo. I will support it. But if you are doing it to say oh, you want to do saga, you want to you want to abuse this one, you want to abuse that one, you want to you want to bring this one down, you want to bring that one down, I will not be a part and parcel of it. I, Manolai Bogun, will not be a part and parcel of it. Because I don't support what is dirty.